Your Excellency, Under Secretary Gita Miller, um, Deputy Secretary <laughs> Gita Miller, um, Ambassadors, Generals, uh, General Messier, uh, ladies and gentlemen, all honorable guests, it is my honor and pleasure to welcome the members of the North Atlantic Council and the Military Committee at the CWIX exercise uh, in JFTC. This event is an excellent opportunity to reflect on some important aspects of NATO's current work a week before the ministerial meeting in Brussels. Although, although it's the seventh iteration of the exercise that's taking place on the Polish soil, this year it's, it is ex exceptional for some reasons. Historically, JFTC, where the exercise takes place, was the first element of NATO command structure in Poland and in the Central and Eastern Europe. When this structure was established, there were practically no NATO forces in the region. Nowadays, we are in a different reality when it comes to NATO's presence in the region. Based on decisions from Warsaw Summit, we have the EFP battle groups that are currently reaching operational capability. We have enhanced command and control arrangements and extensive program for exercises of NATO forces in the region. This is a new quality in terms of security situation in the region. But this is still not the desired end state yet. As today's exercise will take place in JFTC, it, it, it is fair to highlight the importance of an effective common structure of the alliance, or in a broader sense, common arrangements. The work of the review of, of NATO common structure is on track. I personally have an opportunity to participate in, in this process in a con cons consultative format. In this strand of work, it is important to ensure a proper link between NATO command uh, structure and NATO force for structure elements. The alliance must have consistency in this regard. In order to ensure military effective chain of command, especially for most demanding operations. This is where I see the biggest challenge for the NCS review process. I think that there will be room to reflect on that at the upcoming ministerial. <coughs> this process coincides with the activation of new allied military uh, C2 elements in the region next week. The, the headquarters of multinational division northeast in Elblong and the headquarters of multinational brigade southeast in Romania. They both will provide an added value to NATO's deterrence and defense on the eastern flank. It is of great importance to ensure the proper role of these entities in NATO's chain of command, also in the context of enhanced and tailored foreign presence, respectively. This strengthens the requirement for a better link between NCS and NFS, both, but also exemplifies the need for better coordination of EFP and TFP with command and control arrangements. We need, we need to work on that f further. Regarding the today's exercise, uh, the CIWIX gives the opportunity to test new technologies employed in, in securing interoperability and freedom of actions. Cyber domain, the newest operational domain that, that we rec recognized at the Alliance, is becoming more and more important. We need to ensure that it will be properly integrated with other domains. Moreover, transfer of information and, and operational data, as well as its vulnerability to adverse service actions, including cyber, are vital as they allow effective command and control be executed. Although the CIWIX activities take place mostly in front of computers and displays, the results and conclusions are of great value in the real life in terms of achieving military goals. Our HQs and forces must be protected not only in, in conventional battlefield, but also in cyberspace. The last year's exercise, Anaconda 16, which took place on Polish soil, proved how important this integration becomes, especially uh, in the context of most demanding operations where vast re resources would be engaged. It is our intent, intent for the NATO to, to have freedom of, of conducting its activities in the time of peace as well as in the time of crisis and war. The increase of interoperability, meaning en uh, enhanced in capacities to cooperate, is of utmost importance. 
the exercise uh, is the particular activity among other training and exercise activities uh, which contributes to more effective and efficient use of NATO forces, meaning to demonstrate the alliance strength and unity, to, to deter po potential aggression as well as to defend the alliance territories in case of need. The scale, scale of this year's exercise makes yet another difference and confirms its importance and value. 800 experts representing 21 countries and NATO institutions make the CIWIX 2017 shine. All this contributes to its uniqueness and making it undoubtedly the biggest alliance exercise supporting creation of innovative information exchange capabilities. Furthermore, I would like to take advantage of this opportunity to mention the strategic defense review that has just been concluded uh, in Warsaw, taking into account that it coincides with ongoing works on NATO defense planning. The endeavors of our administration provided with the feedback and uh, recommendations coming from the SDR, we hope for better and more eff efficient adaptation of our national plans to NATO's demands. The build-up of our defense capabilities should be considered in a wider context of the development of Poland. This is why we acted according to the guidelines of the country's development and defense uh, financing highlighted uh, and, and defense financing highlighted in the government's strategy for re responsible development, which envisions that the level of spending will reach 2.2% of the GDP in 2020 and will go up to 2.5% of the GDP in 2030. A modern military must be flexible and responsive to increasingly diverse threats. Therefore, to guarantee adequate and credible methodology employed, the SDR team was composed of military and civilian personnel with broad experience and diverse specialization and educational backgrounds. Being aware of the vast range of topics, we invited experts from other ministries and governmental institutions. We also used support from academic experts and non-governmental research centers. In addition, we tapped into the knowledge and experience of many rep representatives of reput reputable institutions from allied countries. Moreover, the entire process was supported not only by classic analytic techniques, but, uh, but specialized uh, IT tools, as well as continuously updated war games and simulations. And here I, I just want to mention that, that we've also taken into account very much the uh, idea of, of a contested environment, including the cyber uh, and radio-electronic warfare, which, which will be um, uh, covered in, in this uh, exercise. We assume that the future battlefield will be a battlefield of a uh, con contested environment. For the team working on the SDR, the number, of, uh, the number one priority was the necessity of adequately preparing Poland to defend its own territory. However, the ultimately adopted model will allow Poland to en enhance our role in NATO and to serve as the unifying force of all allied activities on the eastern flank. The SDR became a trigger for the Polish armed forces for necessary reconsideration of the current and future challenges. This, this strategic analysis of the current position of Poland on the international scene yielded a clear conclusion. The scale of threats had not been adequately assessed in the past. Though our, mon our modern military must be flexible and responsive to increasingly diverse, diversified threats. Operational units remain the core of the Polish armed forces. The newly established territorial defense forces trained to neutralize hostile activities below the threshold of, of, armed for, of an armed conflict and to assist operational units in high intensity warfare will play a supportive role. Ambassadors, generals, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I would like to thank for, uh, for the commitment in preparing and, and executing the CIWIX exercise. To both political and military entities involved, I also hope for the exercise results to contribute to increased and enhanced interoperability, boosting NATO's resilience. Last but not, not least, I hope your visit here today will give you the best experience assuring the certain, certain, certainty on the good job done in Bydgoszcz. Thank you very much.